I'm Liz Carr and I'm from Mangamoka. Mangamoka is halfway between Kaikaui and Kaitaia and uh, I've farmed about 400 hectares and there's um, 90 hectares of radiata we've harvested from this area. Um, it was planted in mainly 1977 planting. And I have about 400 acres in pasture which I farm. This area here was a joint venture between myself, uh, one of my cousins and my brother and uh, a whole bunch of the rest of our family. We developed it and planted it, started planting in 1977, which we did the bulk of it. Um, in the last three years, four years since road lining really, we've uh, progressively harvested the area. It's quite a, been quite a challenging block to harvest and to get to make good money because um, uh, partly because of the terrain and uh, and the distance from the um, public access. Um, the pluses for the block is plenty of metal on site. The negatives for the block is also hitting metal and skid, uh, rock and skids and um, making skid establishments and things like that. We looked at the block um, for forestry and for farming when we bought it and um, we thought we'd um, thus by planting the rougher areas um, I would you know, complement the bet areas for farming and we'd uh, you know, have a dual investment really. In uh, 1996 uh, planted in, in about 70 acres in Lusitanica, um, had lots of problems with them, mainly wind throw, um, at about year three, um, pruning was very really intensive, um, um, which was um, very necessary uh, to start young to get the, the huge amounts of branches off cheaply i.e. with secateurs and uh, later on with loppers. Um, um, it was um, very labour intensive to put in um, and about a third of the block wasn't worth planting because the trees haven't done very well there but the other two thirds um, seem to be growing uh, quite reasonably. The reason why I selected um, Lusitanica was to um, so I didn't have all the eggs in one basket as far as um, uh, in investment and in trees were concerned. Yes, forestry can be a good investment, but some of the mistakes we made here was that we planted the right country in one respect for forestry and that was less suitable for farming, but uh, uh, we didn't put enough planning into the effects of roading and the costs of roading out the back to get the trees uh, so, so far from the road. On the other hand, uh, we have got, you know, I own the position where most of the road work has been done for the future. Um, but um, yes, it could be a, a it could have been a, a million dollar um, money spinner if um, we'd had closer access to the roads and uh, I was involved in another joint venture that was um, uh, on a considerably smaller area that was um, uh, it was far more easy to make a profit on that um, just by the fact that the um, it was easier to put in the access. Yes, originally the property was bought as, as a joint venture and um, this enabled uh, us to afford um, a reasonably large property and um, to get some economies of scale, um, especially on purchase price of larger properties tended to be cheaper on a per acre basis. If I'd gone in by myself and we'd, I'd planted a smaller area, my roading costs would have been even 
as a percentage of the income would have been even far greater. And um, just for the logistics of logging, if you're only logging small blocks, um, you know, you can spend easily ten or twenty thousand dollars on a skid site, and um, to justify that for a small setting is um, rather is very hard. Where if you're pulling um, considerable areas to to each skid, it's, um, there's certainly cost benefits. Um, values and, and scale. Um, yeah, the logging on this country, and, and well, all country really, um, requires um, large equipment and large establishment costs to get the equipment in. It's sort of um, anywhere between, say, five and ten thousand dollars. So um, by doing blocks of reasonable scale, um, you can, you can afford the cost of uh, establishing the the equipment again. So um, so either by planting reasonable scale areas or, or joint ventures, uh, if you haven't got the capital to do it, um, makes good sense. Probably my advice to a young farmer who's looking at establishing trees. Is, probably um, do things around the other way and maybe um, uh, look at your options of where you, you think um, areas that you want to farm and, and areas that you want a forest should be and then um, yeah, do things back to front and get the harvest engineer in before you even, pl even plant the first tree and pl plan your block and um, and let him t explain to you the technical problems in the lay of the country. Some country can be extremely cheap and yet re uh, steep and, um, and yet reasonably easy to harvest and other areas can be, um, because the shape of the terrain, um, a, r a real harvest nightmare. If you do your planning right, trees can be a good retirement option. Um, but um, you've got to start early, um, otherwise, you know, you won't get there.